you walk into court and you see Ness and Awan mm. sitting there, do you think they realise what they've done? I didn't at first, but since I've been up here these two weeks and I've heard the the case going through and what have you, and then yesterday was really with PC Rathburn and what have you, and I thought, Ness knew what he was doing. I think he did. I think he knew what he was doing all the time. The other one, I, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, I think he did as well. I think they, they knew what they were helping with, so to speak, yeah. Yesterday I could have got in that box and patted shit out of him, basically. <laughs> You know, I don't know. A lot of people say we should always have some forgiveness. Do you think people like that deserve any forgiveness? No. I've always been, um, I've always been one for capital punishment anyway. And to me, Mo, if he hadn't have been a coward and shot himself, he should have been given capital punishment. And these two, I think, if it works out that one of them gets life, well, yeah, it should mean life, basically. Not just let out after so many years, but no, he should stay in there. But then if they put them in prison, they've got a life of luxury now, don't they? They have pool tables, they have television, they have, you know? Um, I don't know. I just don't think it's fair. How, how in the future will you remember Christopher? Everything, I'll never forget him. Everything. Just... Everything. You open your eyes and you see him and you... Oh, it's... Never forget him, ever. Little things, there's little stickers around the house with the karate logos on. And that when he came in, he'd stick them on the walls or stick them on the fridge. And they won't come off. So, of course, every time you turn around, there's a, it's Christopher. There's always a little part of him around somewhere, always. I've got. I've had a bracelet made with his name on and I just never ever forget him. Ever. Perhaps remember that mischievous little laddie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was no angel, believe me. I'm the first to hold my hands up on my son. He was no angel. He had his moments. But no matter what he did, he didn't deserve this. You know, he's, he was never in big trouble with the police or... But his, his mates and that, they'll all say he was... He was a lad. <laughs> but he wasn't a bad boy, really. He was a good boy. So, 